Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Today's going to be a multifaceted video. We're going to get some fresh air. We're going to have uh, the Bobcat and the tractor, and we're going to take some look backs. I'm going to talk a little bit of food plot strategy. It's going to be kind of a farm vlog on where I'm at right now with my fall plots and some fresh air. So let's live the dream here together, and I think you'll enjoy it. I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so this particular plot that you're looking at to the left of this new deer tower is brand new last year. This is the area that I expanded this plot. This was all woods here. This was all thick woods. And we used this uh, blue diamond to test it out and cut some of the bigger trees. And I also used the excavator in there um, to pull some of the bigger trees as well. And then I used a chisel disc last year on this. It still had a lot of roots and stumps in it. Um, planted it it did absolutely fantastic um, here's a few clips from last year the activity we had in the fall plot so this year I'm making it even larger here which we're gonna go over here shortly Uh, now I'm going to expand this plot. This was a wonderful plot last year. Um, it's, this is the place that used to be woods back there. So I'm going to run the chisel over that to break it up. And you see all this right here. That looks like a big snake laying there. Um, this is all addition to make this plot even bigger for more volume. Uh, maybe it's a stick. It's also arm.
Right now I'm working on the Sportsman, <clears throat> getting it ready for work. I got the sprayer and I'm uh, mounting the cedar so I can get going on plots here pretty quick. This should be a Okay, let's talk a little fall food plot strategy here. So I, I got three, three of my plots tilled up here a couple days ago on my farm. They're ready to be planted and I was gonna plant them and then all of a sudden we got rain two nights ago. Um, yeah, this, this buck right here, this is in the exact same plot that we just worked on. Um, so if you work hard enough and if you stay off the uh, trigger finger long enough eventually you can do some really good things on your property but anyways so I was gonna plant it here this is today's August 23rd as I'm editing and now all of a sudden look at the forecast we have 10 days of super hot like uh, heat index warnings and then the closest rain prediction is like next weekend like eight you know eight or nine days away so I'm gonna hold off I do have to spray a couple. I'm gonna hold off and I'm gonna wait until this this real hot spell passes because I've learned in the past, man, if you plant, even though we just got rain two days ago, it's gonna come up. But man, if, if it gets burned out, smoked out by 100 degree temps, you know, a week or 10 days in a row, it can really stunt or wreck that fall plot. So now I'm going to hold off for a few days and, and kind of try to time the weather and see what happens. So let's finish this video. I appreciate you guys being on board and good luck on all your land management projects and food plots. Oh, and if you want to see the story of this buck, what happened to it, I'll put a link in the description below and you'll, well, you'll see what happened. Thanks. All right, look at that workhorse now. Oh, I soaked another shirt. It's so hot out, but I got the battery. I got it all hardwired to the battery under there. Cut a little hole for the path to come out for the wire. So it's ready to roll. <sighs> now it's time to go in the air conditioning. All right, now I'm on the second pass. Uh, this will be uh, ready to plant. Let me show you. <clears throat> up this uh, extra area the bigger spot and I'm gonna expand There's the after look. I 
criss I criss cut it, I cross cut it, I sliced it back and forth. A little bit clumpy, but it's ready to plant. That chaff will, will be nice to hold moisture in there. 